So this is pretty much the camera calibration board that we have for my new camera calibration software that I've just launched. So this is the new side business that I'm starting out. We have my camera calibration software, putting everything together now, documenting the whole process. The only thing that we need is this board here, capture a bunch of images and throw it into the camera calibration software. We have all the information. We can then calibrate our cameras within a few minutes instead of spending hours setting up code and we don't really know how to verify the results visualize the results and so on so now with the camera calibration software we can do it in just a few minutes definitely go ahead and check it out on the website these are some high quality boards like these are aluminium they're not really flexing we get a high quality board no reflections very robust and we have a nice print where we can detect all these individual markers that we can then use for camera calibration so this is the first step process in most computer vision projects and applications that we're building out there basically to reduce the lens distortion but it could also just be to get the camera parameters for a specific camera it could also be a case where we have 10 identical cameras and we still need to do camera calibration on each individual one of them because no camera is the same there will always be some slight differences either in the focal length optical center distortion parameters and so on so even though we have 10 of the same cameras we still need to do camera calibration on each individual one of them and that's why it's better to just like have the software out of the box have these high quality boards so we make sure that we actually like get the best and highest quality camera calibration possible because just a slight difference here just a millimeter off two millimeters off in the print if you're just printing an a4 holding it up using your phone ipad or whatever as i've been doing in some of the videos like we will lose a lot of quality in our camera calibration because it all comes down to individual pixels that we're trying to make corrections for